Hi, my name is Johan Bergström and I'm an associate professor at Lund University in southern Sweden and the program director of our master's program in human factors and system safety. I often get questions from people who would like to enroll in the program and in this video I will try to answer some of the most commonly asked questions. So here we go. Uh, we have students representing a huge variety of organizations. Just to mention a few, we've got students in healthcare, aviation, shipping, consulting, defense, process industries, air traffic management, regulatory bodies and agencies, accident investigation boards, and software and web development. Yes, you can, and pretty much all students do. This program is designed for professionals. The program takes about two years to complete and is followed on a half-time basis. So we expect our students to put in 20 hours of work each week. And they tell us that that is pretty much what they do. Yes, since this program is designed for professionals, you can take the courses without a previous bachelor degree. But you will receive a course testimonium rather than a formal Master of Science degree when you finish your studies with us. It is mainly distance-based, but the students participate in three mandatory one-week learning labs here in Lund during the first year of their studies. And this is actually where we really get to know each other and where we can engage in collective critical thinking around topics of human factors and system safety. Our students typically express a need for more real-time interaction, so this is actually where lots of the learning happens. Commissioned education means that the program is targeted towards organizations who want to develop the academic merits of their staff. So they pay. And all students need an organization to cover the tuition fee. Yes, it does. You need a supporting organization. That's typically your employer. But if you are self-employed, your own company can, of course, cover the tuition. Yeah, that's uh, this one. Oh yes, several. And their names and email addresses are published on our webpage. And you can click any of these three boxes here to see interviews with alumni where they talk about their experiences from the program. You can also click this box here that will take you to a film about the program or this box down here that will take you to our program website. 